G'day, I'm Sam Curry and today I'm going to show you how I built the storage for my truck. My first iteration of the truck storage was basically just a steel box stropped in at the back with a small plywood structure off to the side that sort of doubled up as um, a way of securing it into place. This had its limitations for a couple of reasons. Firstly, it was a pain in the ass to get in and out of, um, especially um, off to the side, anything up to the front end of the truck. And secondly, you needed to open the cover completely in order to open the toolbox in the first place, which meant if it was raining, which is often the case, um, everything was getting hammered with rain in order to get access to, um, to what I required in there. I started off with cutting strips of plywood. Now, I don't own a table saw, so it was a skill saw um, and a straight edge for me. It worked for the most part. I think quite soon I'll be buying myself a table saw but that will come in time. Now I'm using 12mm plywood and I'm joining it together with pocket holes. Now I started off the base in, in a few different strips joined together with a bit of dead space. Now I'd done that because I thought it might save a bit of weight but the, the reality being it's only 12mm ply it's, it, it wasn't really an issue and if I had my time again I, I, I wouldn't have wasted my, wasted my time with it. Now once I had the main structure together that was going to be the, uh, I suppose, the, uh, the base to it all, I constructed the drawer to go inside. I based the size of my drawer around my hand tools and the Makita sustainers I wanted to ensure I could get, get into that space. And once I'd finished building the, the main structure that had the, for the drawer, I built the two containers off to the side, one larger full, full size one and the smaller one over the wheel arch. So the design had a few elements that it had to have. It needed to have a drawer so I could access all tools at once off the, off the back end, off the tail door of the, of the truck. It needed to be able to be accessed from the top also. I also wanted to utilise the dead space that you get over the, over the arc. And also I wanted to make sure I could still keep the other half of the deck available for other options. Sometimes that might be machinery or other tools. Um, or other things I might need, um, but it was important to me that the tool storage be on one side and then essentially dead space for, for other opportunities off to the side. Um, for me, I went with the left hand side of the truck. Here in New Zealand we drive on the left, so it made sense for me to be able to safely get it um, in and out. If you drive on the wrong side of the road somewhere, you'll naturally want to put the storage on the other side. I wanted the drawer to feel weightless. Um, so the idea being that it was on a, on a tracked system, I didn't want it to just be sort of heavily pulled sort of timber on timber. for a cut out handle um, using a hole saw then a jigsaw and then followed up with a router um, purely due to, to size restraints. I'd, I'd maximised the space that I required for the, for, for the draw uh, which meant really having a, a pull out handle wasn't going to cut the mustard with, with what was left. Now once I'd finished all of the structure including the notch outs to get the, get the structure to fit snugly um, into the side of the truck underneath the cover 
um, was my least favourite part, which is the, the painting. Um, I started off with white primer and followed up with black paint. Um, I suppose there was two reasons for painting the, the storage. Um, the first one being to just to protect it from the elements. Um, I knew from the, the first truck box I did, uh, I didn't uh, paint or stain that. And, and over time, moisture does get in, uh, get in there. And the second reason was that I felt that if I was to drop the tail door, I didn't want it to look as though I had a, a truck full of tools. So, you know, from a distance when it's black, I don't think you'd be able to sort of look inside there and see how much was going on. Um, there is a lot of theft in, in Christchurch, like anywhere, I suppose. Um, and, and with that in mind, you know, somebody coming and stealing um, what is essentially my livelihood um, isn't really going to work for me. Once I'd finished painting, I then put the rails on for the drawers. Um, I made a little jig um, to, to the height I wanted it to be to, to pre drill the holes, and then another jig to hold the rails in place. Um, and then I drilled through with self tapping um, steel screws um, to, to hold those into place there. <laughs> created another jig to drill all the holes required for the skateboard bearings so yeah I opted for skateboard ball bearings with M8 nuts and bolts um, all in place there's a few more at the, at the front end um, to support it when it's when it's fully out um, um, but I think I think there's 24 in total 12 on each side to ensure that the the rails themselves would be some supported so when the tail doors completely open um, they can they can stay in place um, without any issues there. I was going to test it by standing in it, but um, yeah, it's been raining pretty much every day since I finished doing that, so, so I won't be doing that quite yet. Then to finish it off, um, I decided to secure it down with hook and eye turnbuckles. The idea being that it would be pulled in one way uh, as much as it could go and pulled to the front as much as it could go. And that way it can't, it, it can't be moved in any direction. Um, and I, I have extensively tested it since there. It's, it's not budged a mill. <laughs> concludes this episode on my truck storage. Thanks for watching and if you like this sort of thing please like and subscribe.